Now, 7 Weather with meteorologist Julie Durden. That's a wet start for some of us on this Wednesday morning. We saw some scattered showers moving on shore with our southwest wind flow. These are the rain bands associated with Tropical Depression Debbie. Mostly cloudy skies in place over Miami-Dade and Broward, and those clouds are producing some showers. Our camera now pointed towards the east where that line of rain is now pushing offshore, but it did its damage. It moved through portions of the 826, the 836, the Dolphin Expressway. It started bringing some moderate to heavy rain from Hialeah, stretching all the way down towards Westchester and now has pushed away. We do have another cell starting to develop over the Turnpike, one by Pembroke Pines, another shower over Sunrise and 595 into Plantation. And again, with our steering wind moving in from the southwest to the northeast, we will continue to keep that chance of an isolated shower in the forecast. By all means, they will not be widespread, so not everybody dealing with the rain this morning, but pack your patience because some of the roadways are wet. You can see where the temperature is reflecting where we saw the rainfall. Upper 70s, Miami, Miccosukee, lower 80s, Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach, Pembroke Pines, Key West. The winds out of the southwest anywhere between 9 and 17 miles per hour. Wind gusts in the 20s for Key West as well as Fort Lauderdale. Not a good day to do any boating as we are expecting rough seas. Therefore, there are advisories for you boaters. Take a look at Tropical Depression Debbie. Not very impressive. A very elongated area of showers and thunderstorms starting from the Gulf of Mexico into the western Atlantic. And a lot of the moisture well displaced from the center of circulation. You can see that on the color satellite. The center of circulation as of 5 o'clock this morning is located 25 miles southeast of St. Augustine, Florida. It's moving to the east northeast at 10 miles per hour. And you can see a very weak system compared to what we saw yesterday. The winds are only at 35 miles per hour. And speaking of yesterday, Debbie did make landfall near the Big Bend, Florida, right around 5 o'clock in the evening as a tropical storm. And then since then, it has weakened. Forecast cone has the system being steered by upper level winds, pushing the system away from the United States and an area of high pressure just south of Bermuda. So it'll be on an east and then a northeast track for the weekend. Could strengthen back to a tropical storm just north of Bermuda. Regardless, what we're watching is the moisture associated with the system. It's on the eastern edge of the system. So the further away that Debbie gets, the drier air will move into South Florida and the drier our weather pattern will be. Unfortunately, not today. We still have those rain bands wrapping around Debbie and that's keeping us unsettled and breezy. Going to the end of the week and the weekend, high pressure builds from the Gulf of Mexico, providing for that drier air to move in. We'll have more sunshine and less rain. Here's the latest on the other area we're watching in the eastern Atlantic, a 10% chance of development. It is a tropical wave. We have plenty of time to watch it. Marine forecast calls for the advisories, Miami-Dade and Broward. The bay will be choppy, same for you in the Keys, but near shore waters at a moderate chop. Highs today in the upper 80s, low 90s, peaks of sunshine, times of showers. Lows in the mid to upper 70s, not as windy tonight. The winds will subside by the end of the week. will be hot and humid for the weekend. Have a great day.